Good morning. Welcome to my home in the Arctic. Take a look, very cosy, but not a great night because it's perpetual daylight up here at this time of year. So it's very bright. It's also very windy, so the tent was flapping. Now let me show you around this research camp. The essential thing, because it's so dazzlingly bright, is these guys. Now, this is where the scientists are based to do their research. And it's very treacherous because the ice is melting and refreezing, melting again. We've all slipped through and flooded our boots. This tent is really important to life here. Let me take a quick look inside. This is where everybody works and eats. If you're wondering where the water comes from, well, it's collected from a little stream. And let me show you something else interesting about this, because here in this remote place, there's no power station, no regular power supply. So all the electricity needed for the instruments comes from these solar panels. But I know there's one question that everybody's been asking me. How do you go to the loo in the Arctic? Let me show you. I'll just warn you, it's quite a long way. Imagine doing this at three in the morning. Although in point of fact, it's as bright then as it is now. It's so far away, it's easy to get lost. Right, if you're still with me, we've made it. Now, there's no tree around here, no bush to hide behind, nothing but bare ice for a thousand miles to the North Pole. So, there's a wooden pallet to hide behind, bit of a mess around the back here. And if you're worried about someone coming along, catching you there's a little flag you can put up to show that the place is occupied luckily we're not staying here very long